In this video, I will compare Sweet Dash versus Go High Level and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. So they both offer different features and they have different purposes. So you can use them for your own business, but what they also both do is they allow you to resell their platform with your own branding on it to your clients. So whether you want to use it for yourself or to resell it, in this video, I'll just explain their differences and tell you which one I think is best. So first, let's go over their features, then their pricing, then their customer reviews, and then I will tell you which one I would use in each specific scenario. Now, first of all, on Sweet Dash, there are a bunch of features and they are split up into these categories. So CRM and funnels, projects, onboarding, powerful billing, secure portals, LMS learning, scheduling, file exchange, e-signature, marketing, support tickets, and community. Now, in terms of the CRM and funnels, and the LMS learning, everything won't quite be as good as whether, for example, for the LMS learning, you would go with Kajabi. The Kajabi would be a little bit better. And for the CRM, a specific CRM such as Pipedrive or HubSpot would be a little bit more advanced. But this will get you everything all in one tool. And that's the same with Go High Level. And that is what they are very good at. So if you are going to use it for your own business, then as long as you're not really at enterprise level, then both of these tools could definitely help you. Now in terms of features on Go High Level, they have this image on their website. So you can see what it offers and what it replaces. So they also have CRM and pipeline management, and then sales funnels, a website builder, surveys and forms, email marketing, two-way SMS marketing, booking and appointments, workflow automations, courses and products, call tracking, reputation management, tracking and analytics, communities, document signing, a gray labeled mobile app and a white labeled desktop app. So now let's take a look at their pricing. With Swedish, you can pay monthly, yearly or lifetime and the lifetime plans aren't that affordable. For example, you can see the start plan when you pay monthly is $19 per month and lifetime it is over $2,000. So you will need to use it for a really long time in order to get that out of it. So I wouldn't really use that lifetime plan since you are paying so much upfront and not really getting that much out of it. Now it does start at only $19 per month, which gets you the foundational business tools. Then Thrive gets you everything in start, plus all of this right here. So for example, dual stage pipelines, advanced custom menus, custom folder generations. Then in the Pinnacle $99 per month plan, which is the most expensive plan in Sweet Dash, you get a complete automation toolkit, flows onboarding toolkit, LMS learning management, support tickets, task dependencies, client and customer journeys, two terabytes of storage, and one bonus wizarding session. Now, most people will probably need to go with the Pinnacle plan if you are going to resell it because you will get the onboarding, the automation toolkit. And basically, I would say that Sweet Dash, the $99 per month plan is pretty essential. Now, comparing this to Go High Level, they have two plans here, but they also have a bit more expensive reselling plan, which I'll go over in a second. So the starter plan is for people that want to manage up to three businesses using Go High Level. You can see you can set up up to three sub accounts in this plan and this one costs 97 USD per month. Then the unlimited plan gets you unlimited sub accounts, which means that you can manage unlimited businesses using this. Now in the unlimited plan, you get a branded desktop app, but this isn't really for the reselling SaaS platform. So if you actually want to create a SaaS, then Go High Level can help you do that. For that, you will need to get Go High Level Pro SaaS. So you can see right here that that plan will cost you $497 per month. Here you will get access to some really advanced features. So SaaS mode, an AI conversational bot, nurture and close leads, and all of this right here. Now, if you do want to get started with the $497 per month SaaS plan, which I would recommend if you are going to start a SaaS, then I will leave a link to this page down in the description because you won't find it on the usual Go High Level website. So then you can click on the SaaS Pro link down in the description and you can claim a 14 day free trial for this plan. Now this plan is really good and I personally am on this plan and I'm actually reselling Go High Level in my SaaS and I'm using the 497 per month plan. I think it is better for reselling compared to Sweet Dash. That is why I use it. And the downside is that it is a bit more expensive. 
So if you don't mind paying a little bit more for the best tool that you can then actually resell better because you have better features and you will get better testimonials, then go with Go High Level. Now, if you are just using one of these for your business, then I would go with the Starter 97 USD per month plan on Go High Level, since here you can set up to three businesses. And again, Go High Level, in my opinion, is better. Now, usually they offer a 14 day free trial. I do also have a link and through that link, you will get a 30 day free trial. So if you want to claim that, you can see it right here, 30 day free trial, simply click on the link in the description. And then you can also claim a 30 day free trial on either the starter or unlimited plan. And the unlimited plan is best for agencies and it's really affordable because you can set up unlimited businesses using Go High Level for this flat price of 2.97 USD per month. So when would I use Sweet Dash? I would only use Sweet Dash if you are looking for a more affordable tool and you are willing to compromise a little bit on the software itself. Because especially with Sweet Dash, I would not really go with the Start or Thrive plan since you won't get access to some really good features. And especially I wouldn't go with the Start plan because you will want to have the pipelines, the deal state pipelines, the dynamic proposal toolkit, autoresponder and everything here. So overall, I think Go High Level is definitely the winner, whether you're using it for your own business, for your clients as an agency, or you are going to launch a SaaS, I would just go with Go High Level and invest a little bit more money into a better tool that will get you better results. So again, if you want to claim a 30 day free trial instead of 14 days for Go High Level, you can get that through the link in the description. And if you want to get started with Go High Level Pro SaaS, then I'll also leave a link to this page down in the description where you can also start your free trial on the SaaS Pro plan. Now, if you do want to get started with Sweet Dash and you do want to get a bit more of an affordable tool, then I'll also leave a link to Sweet Dash down in the description. Now, Sweet Dash is definitely not a bad tool. So if you do have less of a budget and you cannot spend, say, $97 per month or even for $97 per month for the Pro SaaS plan, then you will probably like Sweet Dash as well. But I just think that Go High Level is a better software. So that concludes this comparison of Sweet Dash versus Go High Level. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.